What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining Willie Outdoors. Today is Friday, September 24. It's uh, around 1 p.m. And we are at Grayson Highlands, Virginia, at Jefferson National Forest. And uh, I want to give a special thanks to John for hooking me up with my new Willie Outdoors hat. And uh, there's going to be eight of us. Uh, I'm going to have my wife, Gretchen, John, we got Alan, Mark, uh, Jeremy, Rick, and Bowie. Mark is the one that planned this trip. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, and uh, we'll check out uh, Grayson's Highland. This is uh, our first time here, so let's see the ponies. So we'll have a good time. All right, thanks for joining. Okay, so we are at the Jefferson, Jefferson National Forest. And we are parked at the grindstone parking lot and i think we're gonna hike about four miles today i'm just gonna follow the guys i'm not really sure where exactly but we are parked at the grindstone and it's a five dollar fee per night for parking unless you're paying a campsite then that's more um, but we'll be doing about four miles today and the guys are getting ready to start heading out. So we got, uh, my wife Gretchen. We got the guys here. We got Bowie over there. Hi, Bowie. He's ready to start hiking. Oh, he's ready, right? You are ready. <laughs> we got Alan, Brian, Jeremy, Rick. Mark <laughs> and John. <laughs> so we're leaving the parking lot. We're going to go back to the main road and connect to the Appalachian Trail. We'll do about four miles today. Just gonna follow the guys. And Bowie. Yay! So we've connected to the Mount Rogers Trail. It was a nice beautiful drive here sunny day no clouds blue skies it's about 60 degrees tonight it will be in the low 40s it's perfect weather to be backpacking and hiking and camping um, so we're gonna enjoy two nights and hike hike out on on Sunday so we're about half a mile in in this junction here we're just gonna wait for uh, Jeremy he had to go back and get some water and uh, we're just gonna wait for him here at the half mile marker here okay Rogers some road crossing here. Thank you for coming. We're going to just head back home.
Okay, so here's, here's a couple vehicles. Here. Water break. <laughs> Yeah, watch uh, that Thank you. pile of Thank shit you there. How's the D? Can you afford that? Do you have a horse? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Keep riding horses. Yeah. We're about two miles in. A beautiful day. We got a, a group of horse riders over there. And we found some buckeyes on the trail. But not, not those kind of Buckeyes right there. No, you want to leave that's those. Road apples. <laughs> that's, that's, that's road apples. <laughs> road apples yep. and buckeyes. Cabo San Lucas. Oh, over in Spain. Yeah, that's the uh, something way. Yeah, part of the trail is a little muddy, but that's that's, that's part of the trail, so. Yeah, we had shed our a few layers uh, back there because it was getting warm. And then we cross that creek. Yeah, today's going to be a short day, so a couple of more miles to camp. Fairwood Valley Trail to our right. It's a Highlands Trail. See the white, white blaze, you know we are at the Appalachian Trail. We're going to connect the Appalachian Trail. Come on, we got, uh, boy, we got some mud boots. <laughs>
All right, we did uh, four and a half miles. Made it to camp. Uh, everybody's looking for their sweet spot campsite. We got the shelter up there. Nice fire ring over here. And we got the bear box over there straight ahead. Be out there somewhere. We got the privies here. And it's about 4 30. We found a nice campsite. Rick ended up finding one off the off the other campsites yeah, everybody's setting up their uh, their shelter let me show you around camp this is gonna be home for tonight I ended up bringing my 20 degree Cedar Ridge outdoors on the quilt my Dutch wear chameleon yeah I got my Cedar Ridge 20 degree top quilt also. My Dyneema tarp. And we got Gretchen over there setting up. We got Jeremy. John, Brian, Alan, and Rick over there. Oh, and Mark. I miss Mark. We'll have the fireplace over there. We got our own little fire pit here, but we're not going to use it. Everybody's all settle, settling in. gathering some wood for tonight <laughs> everybody's filtering water now get some water filter well for anybody but usually afterwards they decide that uh, they're going to leave the old skunk alone. Boy's going to supervise while everybody filters. <laughs> Um, okay, apparently I forgot to hit the record button, so here we go again, a second time. Boiling water, uh, it's about 6 p.m., and we got some 
homemade pad thai from Gretchen Formula. With some add-ins like peanut butter, sriracha, lemon juice, and soy sauce. <laughs> All right. Rick, uh, for the second time, what are you having for dinner? <laughs> It's a chicken alfredo, but it's really chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it happens. Jeremy, what do you have for dinner for the second time? I'm having a Floyd ribeye. A Floyd ribeye? <laughs> <laughs> Best season cut. Beef stew. Mark? I heard my name. Big uh, refuel. Sweet, sweet pork and rice. Sweet pork and rice from... <laughs> <laughs> Alan, what you having for? Well, I want to have some potlay on a box, but that idea got stolen, so I'm having to throw it. I'm not going to ask um, John because we everybody knows he's having chipotle in a box. <laughs> Brian, what are you having for dinner? The second time, I forgot to hit the record. <laughs> Beef stew. He's chitter chatting over there with John. Anyway. I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful campsite that Rick found. We got some nice leaves turning, all colorful and awesome campsite. some dinner tonight and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening we didn't see any ponies tonight today but hopefully tomorrow we'll see some ponies morning Saturday September 25 it's uh, 7 a.m. everybody's getting ready and getting their f food from the bear box good thing we didn't have to bear hang last night so that's that's good but everybody's getting ready to pack up and have some breakfast before we head out today and we have our coffee already nice and boiled. Gretchen, my wife, made some uh, 
oatmeal date balls. And what else what has these? Um, it has oatmeal, chia seeds, flax, and peanut butter, and cinnamon. And they taste delicious. delicious. Thank you, babe. Yes, you're welcome. You have for breakfast? I made like date oatmeal and peanut butter balls. And they have like flax and chia and the only thing is that I have to bring a container because I would have quit. But they're really tasty and filling. So we just like made enough for today. Yeah. So everybody's having breakfast and having some coffee before we um, hike out today to the, our next campsite and see the ponies. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? All right, it's 9 a.m. I think everybody is getting their packs on and all packed up, ready to go. We're going to do about 10 miles today and hopefully see Racing Highland, the ponies. About a mile, a mile and a half in. Uh, just took a little water break here. Uh, shed some layers. Now it's cooling down. There's a nice breeze. Probably went up to 50. Another beautiful sunny day. But those are the people that are the majority that are on back. Yeah. And they're all like, oh, he's road is No, that's not who it is. Come on, Bowie. Let's see some ponies. Came up a uh, mountain, we're going back down. Uh, it's a beautiful breeze, it feels so good. It's probably in the mid 50s by now. Woke up this morning, it was like 45 degrees. But I'm loving this weather. This is my kind of weather fall and spring. The 40s and 50s, 60s. That's what I like. But enjoying the trail so far, Grayson Highlands, Virginia, haven't seen any ponies yet, but hopefully in the next couple of miles, probably when we go up again in like the open meadows at Grayson Highlands. I guess we're going up there so you can see some of the ponies from here like in the middle of those mountains and here we go
see all the yeah. views yeah. in. All this is all open. It's just yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Got some happy happy campers here. Really look that way. <laughs> you see the ponies up in the hill over there. Yeah. See, we bring Floyd right here. We and the views <laughs> are Floyd. way out there. There's all sorts of wood back there. Have a party. I think it's a right there. Big as down through the brush right there. Okay. Straight ahead is Massey Gap State Park Glacier Trail. in Highlands, Virginia, absolutely beautiful.
we've done a little over five miles. Uh, I have a nice uh, stream or river here next to the shelter where we're gonna have uh, some lunch. It's uh, a little before one. Sure, we're gonna have some lunch. Okay, it's one o'clock, it's lunch time. And I think for lunch is gonna be the uncrustable peanut butter, strawberry, and some plantain chips. We did about six miles, and everybody's having lunch at the shelter here. At the wise shelter having a lunch break and then uh, continue the last uh, four miles to our campsite for tonight memories now when we were when we were little we did we didn't have so much memory we lived out in, in a more suburban but, uh, everybody in the neighborhood got together and uh, every Saturday one guy would gather up would go around and gather everybody's milk bottles I know Wilburn Bridge. First pony on the trail. Oh. All right, we've hiked uh, about two and a half miles from camp uh, where we had lunch 
So we got like another two and a half miles to camp tonight. It'll be a little over 10 miles tonight. So it's this beautiful Virginia Grayson Highlands. This is why we hike, backpack in the back country. Enjoy these views. Yeah, I think this is the fat man's cave they talk about. I believe this is the fat man's cave. Yeah. Fat man's cave.
I'm thinking we gotta squeeze in through here. Oh yeah. I don't know, but if this is it, I thought it was gonna be really, really worse. That man's cave. made it to camp well a temporary camp here because uh, we're taking a break uh, we're deciding and waiting for Jeremy and Rick to come back to see if we're staying here or going to where where they are at but we're the rest of us are, are just taking a, a break here And you know, I'm easy out. But whatever they decide, you know, can't be difficult. I'm just taking along. <laughs> I think it's uh, 7 p.m. dinner time. We got some dehydrated spaghetti from home. Guys are boiling their water, getting ready for their their, their dinner. having a little mini bonfire because I think the, most of everybody uh, went to sleep at the hiker midnight over here. <laughs> Not hackers. You gonna label this the saddest little fire in Virginia? Good morning. It's Sunday, September 26. It's uh, a little after seven. We're all uh, packed up. Gonna have some coffee and breakfast before we head out. We're gonna hike out the last uh, six miles or so. It's so back to the car and head out home. Uh, temperature is about 42 degrees this morning. It was windy last night, but I, I slept overall good. Woke up just one time, um, but everybody's uh, gonna have some breakfast and head out. Start heading out at 8, 8 a.m.
All right, it's a little after eight and started hiking out. Got about six miles more or less to the car. It's been an awesome trip. Excellent weather. Excellent company with good friends. This, this has been a, an awesome trip so far. done three miles so far we got another four more miles not yeah we got three more miles so another three miles make it six
All right, we made it back to the parking lot. It's a little after 12, 7.5 miles. I want to give a special thanks to Mark for setting this trip up and inviting us. Thank you, Mark. And uh, I think we had a, an awesome trip, awesome weather, awesome campsites, awesome views, awesome everything. And thanks again. Uh, and uh, I'm glad everybody else joined. My wife Gretchen, Rick, John, Jeremy, Alan from uh, Hiking the Second Half of Life. Make sure you check out his channel uh, with Bowie. And if I missed anybody, I think Mark, Alan, Rick, Jeremy, oh, and, and Brian for joining us. Um, but. Please uh, consider subscribing, like, comment. See you outdoors. Thanks again for watching.